Well, it's going to be a battle we have to watch all night who can get the better penetration. And Simley did a nice job to keep that for a minimal gain. That was Rizlov on the carry as you had just finished touting his skill set, able to get the first carry of the game. It was a gain of four. Five, I beg your pardon. Now Altavilla airs it out. He's got him. It's caught. Chase down the field. He's got room to run and a touchdown for the Warriors. Johnny Lagerman strikes first and the Warriors in no time at all are on the board for six. Lagerman, one of the great stories a couple years ago as a freshman, he wasn't even listed on the roster but made an Warriors impact. Warriors on the board early as they'll now attempt the extra point. Mason Boykin doing the kicking, long time kicker, and he has a great leg. And the kick is up and good, make it seven, nothing, two rivers and Hunter. Get his stats up here momentarily. But he's gonna be the guy you have to keep an eye on. And occasionally, Simley does like to put Tim Peach in there as kind of a wildcat option quarterback. So keep an eye on that, but Urbino will be the primary quarterback tonight. 12 touchdowns, five picks for him on the season. So the touchback will set up first and 10 at Simley's 20. Kind of a high snap, Urbina snags it and hands it off. Up the near sideline and then taken down at the 25 yard line. Over 200 be yards receiving on the season. So keep an eye out for these other offensive weapons as they're trying to get Two Rivers to jump. Urbina takes a snap and throws to his right, bobbled for a moment, but then caught, and he got maybe a yard on the play, maybe two. It was Moses to Wojcik. try something there, even if you're only gonna get a couple of yards. Sets up, as you said, third and manageable here for this Simley offense. And Urbina will look to throw. Urbina airs it out, taking a page out of Ulta Villa's book. It's intercepted. It's snagged out of the air and then fumbled. And then jumping on the ball to finish off the play is Mason Krupenny. And a chaotic sequence, Hunter. Somehow the Two Rivers Warriors able to regroup after fumbling the interception and will bring up receiver on the play. Pass goes over his head. What does he do? He scrambles and makes a tackle to at least try to minimize the damage there. Was able to knock the ball loose, just didn't have anyone else in a blue jersey to help recover it. And we just talked about it. Keeping your defense off the field. Now Simley is... Didn't give them that long of a drive, and we'll have to see how this will sustain the rest of the night. So the Warriors, after scoring on their first drive, looking for more. Up ahead, Ramsey Rizlov on the carry. Lots of room to run, and then is snagged down at the sideline after a big gain on first down. Very shifty back, very quick, very speedy. Another aspect, too, Simley's going to need to force some turnovers. We talked about it earlier, only six interceptions for Alta Villa. But there are chances when he's under pressure, those have kind of been when I've seen those interceptions come. So they just need to get pressure at the quarterback, force him to run out of the pocket and make a throw on the run. So the penalty will bring up second and 18. Like right Alta here. Villa rolls to his right, then throws to his left. It's grabbed by Rizlov, who's got a little bit of room to run and then taken down at about the 35 yard line. That's a well-designed screenplay. They send Alta Villa rolling out to the other side while they send the blockers Four to the left Hunter. side. I think the offense staying on the field. It's the right call. I think it's the right call to go for it. Head coaches Bruce Carpenter and Tom Orth. So fourth and 12, Warriors keep the offense on the field. We'll see if Simley can come up with another big stop or if the Warriors offense can find a first down. Alta Villa takes the snap and gives it off. Found a gap and found the end zone. It's a touchdown for the Warriors. This time, Lonnie West runs it in. That was just a poor play on the football. Two passing touchdowns early on in the night, moving his total to 19. And good job by the Warriors coaching staff to decide to go for it on fourth and 12. Decent field. The gut. And Peach able to scramble ahead to get just enough for the first down. So fresh set of downs now for Simley in Warriors territory. Knocking on the door for the first time tonight are the Simley Spartans looking to put some points on the board. Hand off to Jones. Jones up the middle and swarmed and taken down for Simley. Urbina takes a snap, gives off to Jones. Jones up the middle, nowhere to go, and he's taken down. Once again, Take back. And unfortunately, it's a drive stall, but your benefit is you did give your defense a good break, so they're not as gassed as they were on that second two rivers possession. 
And it was a more fruitful drive than we saw the first time around for Simley. Even though no points came of it, they made it much further up the field than the first time around. So now two rivers on first down will run ahead for... up the big gaps he just shifts and finds a smaller hole to sneak through here's a look at the touchdown run again he just finds the tiniest spaces and sneaks through and gets into the end zone to extend the lead and good crowd in attendance here today not our typical friday night lights it's wednesday night lights this week with mea week so no school for the kids tomorrow and friday as this ball rolls ahead and is falling on team. They beat some good opponents. Mm -hmm. Their offense has proven to score. It's just they're making a lot of mistakes here early, mental and physical. Well, and the, the I don't want to say good news, but I guess the, the we do appreciate the support from our supporters, from our fans and viewers and everybody who helps make it happen. It takes a big group of people to make these games happen the way they do. And we do hope you're enjoying watching at home. If you're simply, this is a must-stop drive. Absolutely. For, I would say must-turnover drive. Oh, all right. Let's see if we can get one. Rizlov up ahead and tackled and taken down after a gain of about. So that's a first and 10 at Simley's 40. Handed off to Jones. Jones up the right and taken down in the backfield. He had nowhere to go. It'll be a loss on the play. And again, like I said, they're just getting a little linear on first down, just running it in two rivers is just ready for it. Passing game working a little bit here. You need, I said it at South St. Paul, they didn't need it, how I brought it as my key of the game, but right now they need to pass to set up that run. Right now the run isn't nearly as, as successful as it was earlier in the game. So it's a loss of four officially. Second and 14, handed off to Jones once again. Jones works up ahead for a gain of about six before he's taken down. So that brings the Simley Spartans into the Warriors half of the field. 
And they hope to continue to march. Jones gets the handoff once again. And up ahead for a gain of three. It's been a busy week for us here at Town Square Television. We've had, let me think, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Six games in seven days for us here at Town Square. But it is playoff season for some sports, end of the regular season for others. So, of course, we're trying to get all these matchups covered as the Two Rivers Warriors gain a first down. Off the first. Storm and back, and Simley definitely has that potential. Like I said, that last drive was a perfect example of that. Well, let's just run through worst-case scenario for Two Rivers right now. You go third and out, or even worse, you go for it on fourth down maybe and not able to get the first down. Simley like gets the a game again. It, I think that last drive made it feel like a game again, but it's going to feel like a real competitive game tonight if they can get a score. I know I'm the play-by-play -play person tonight, not the color person, but if my opinion matters at all, I would say you just <laughs> got to do whatever feels smartest, right? If drawing out the play is what you think is the smartest play, then go for that. If airing it out... Just a one-point difference at the end of that one between Simley and South St. Paul. Much wider margin here today, but Simley marching, looking for another score before we hit halftime. Peach looks to throw and passes intercepted. Two Rivers able to snag it and still on his feet and then taken down by Isaiah Wilson and Hunter. As you mentioned moments ago. Starts taking any timeouts or if they're gonna be content taking this to half. Minute 15 to go. Alta Villa and Rizlov back there discussing things. Alta Villa takes the snap, hands it off to Rizlov. Rizlov looking for some blockers, he gets them. Rizlov finds a gap, he's got the first down and more still on his feet. Rizlov up ahead, cuts to the sideline. He's chased down, but still on his feet before finally being taken down at the 17 yard line. It's a huge gain for the Two Rivers Warriors and they're in Spartan territory. That's excellent clock management by Either way, that it might moves have been the, 72, one of the 70s in there. That moves the Warriors back. Alta Villa rolls out, throws to his right, passes, caught for the touchdown. I guess it doesn't matter after <laughs> all, Hunter. Rizlov thought he had it. The penalty moves him back. Instead, it'll be Johnny Lagerman on the reception. And two and Hunter, I think after you know seeing this is now my second time seeing two rivers this season in person. And it just amazes me how good Alta Villa is when he's forced to move. Not a lot of high school quarterbacks can throw it like that out of the pocket or rolling out, uh, you know, out like I mentioned. Situation, and that's what they need to do going to halftime. Figure out what you did well, figure out what you did wrong, come back stronger, play this team tough. And Christian Urbina, heeding your advice, will take a knee here to end the half. So the Two Rivers Warriors up 34 to seven over the Simley Spartans here at halftime. We've got a lot of... They get the ball coming out of this halftime break, but on down four scores, four plus scores, it's gonna be a big hill to climb here. But never say never. Like I said, this it's a very volatile simply offense. They could click 30 second drive. Before they get the close to that red zone, but we'll see what they can do here with another fresh set of downs. We're hitting that 840-ish mark on the scoreboard. Our clock's being operated manually, so it'll be a, a couple seconds off here or there, but generally pretty close. Yeah, big thank you to Trevor and Ashley in the truck helping operate this broadcast for us here tonight. Toby on vacation. Slacker. For <laughs> MEA break <laughs> with his kiddos and his family, so Ashley and Trevor get the call tonight and a big tackle made here behind the sticks. And no, Toby, we're on cameras. We have Sean, Jerry, Joe, and Ben. We got a full crew tonight rocking the house here at Simley High School. Toby was joking at Teardown <laughs> last night. Of course, the day I'm there, we have a, uh, I'm not there, we have a full crew. <laughs> I said to him, I said, maybe you scare everybody away. Maybe they heard you were off and they wanted in on the action tonight. Handoff up ahead. And a gain of a few here for the Simley. Has improved. They are getting these thirds and fives, third, four, third, and six. Not these third and sevens to third and long. So great start here for the Simley offense. Urbina looks to throw to his left and almost intercepted. It was past the intended target and Lonnie West was in there sniffing that one out. I beg your pardon, there was a roughing the passer call on that. Thank you to the Simley oh, crew up here it. for letting us know. I completely missed it. I so that'll bring well. up a fresh set of downs. Jones 
That's why we all help each other up here. <laughs> Handoff. And Jones taken down in the backfield. It's going to be a loss of about five. Let's put it out but into the you, universe. So you got to get some things going right, yeah. though. I'm not right now. It's all on two rivers side, side of things, but they got to keep pushing forward. High snap handed off to Rizlov. Rizlov finds a gap as he's been able to do all night and taken down after a gain of about six. Second and two. Moses Woja, the tackler on that play, to bring up second and two now for the Two Rivers Warriors. Handed off to Rizlov. Rizlov up ahead, falls forward for the first down, and that'll move the sticks. Here at Town Square for the fall season. Next week and the week after that, last week of October slash first week of November, we'll have volleyball playoffs and football playoffs. So make sure you stay tuned to townsquare.tv, our Game of the Week page, where we'll keep you updated where we're gonna be as this pass is off and caught near the sideline and taken out of bounds for a gain of five. Really, in any sport, it's easy to want to try to make those big plays because you think that's going to get you to the finish line faster. But a lot of times, it's the small parts of the game that get you closer to where you want to be as you add up all those small moments to finish off a big game. And you see it in basketball, trying to shoot a three when really the layup is the better Just option. You hand off, hand off, hand off to waste that clock. They are still willing to let it rip while still letting that clock tick. Simley made it a 20-point game here in the second half. The Warriors now looking to respond on offense. Carried up ahead. Being patient and not doing anything silly, like <laughs> where he's going to lose the football. And he doesn't try to force a gap to open for him. He waits for it to open itself, and then he finds it and takes it. And that's what it seems makes him such a competent running back is when you force the gaps, that's where you lose the football. That's where you turn it over. That's where you fumble it. And he doesn't seem to be that kind of player as he once again gets the handoff here, trying to force himself up ahead. But a handful of Spartans meet him there to fend him off. He reminds me a lot of Le'Veon Bell before he held oh. out on the <laughs> Le'Veon was a, was a very patient back. He would find his lanes, but he was also very effective out of the backfield as a receiver as well. But he was a very patient running runner and very shifty. And again, they're just doing everything right right now, not doing too much as we're already almost at the end of yeah, this quarter, quarter number three. Yeah, this quarter is flown by. Robert just Street about. Business Association for supporting Town Square Television and Game of the Week. So an incomplete pass brings up second and 10 now for the Warriors. Handoff once again to Rizlov. Rizlov up ahead. He's got grass in front of him. Rungi chasing him down, but Rizlov will beat him to the end zone. It's another Warrior touchdown. And once again, it's Ramsey Rizlov making the Spartans pay. And that's the dagger. It, it really Come is. Come on and then give up a touchdown as soon as you get on defense. Not part of the game plan for the Simley Spartan team. And now once again, they face the same deficit they did entering halftime. But a whole other quarter's gone by. <laughs> and you know, there's still things to play for, but... It does feel like the sales have come down a little bit on that sideline as that extra point was up and good. So 41-14 now Let's the score. Some stuff. Just to see what you got. That can be a weapon in the postseason. So Urbina sends Jones in motion and then hands it off to Jones. Jones taken down. The records the you see sometimes indicate how good or bad a team actually is. It feels this Two Rivers team is as good as their record shows. Would you say that the record for Simley is accurate for what this team is capable of, sitting right around that 500 I range? I think pretty close. Yeah. I, th I think pretty close. And I don't th mean that in a negative way as a handoff to Bungie goes for nothing. I don't think that as an insulting aspect. I think they have a lot of potential, just but they've got to they've gotta get this offense string and they've got to get this passing game going if they want to have some success. But so be someone, willing to take a shot if it's there. But right now I think it's kind of all run most of the way here. But they might, we might see him open it up a little bit here too. And probably once we start getting towards halfway through this quarter is when I'll, I think we'll start seeing some of the reserves get some action. Yeah, we'll keep our eyes peeled for any lineup changes as the quarter goes on. The handoff here to Rizlov. Rizlov. Carries it up ahead for a gain of what they four. decide to do after that. I mean, with how quick that third quarter goes, this could be the last drive for Two Rivers with uh, what we saw in the third quarter. Handoff to Rizlov. Rizlov 
finds a gap along the sideline and rushes up ahead for the first down and much, much more taken down at the 47, or 37, I beg your pardon, and that'll bring up a first really down. Really grown into a very strong football. Because not too long ago, they were a one, two, two win team mm -hmm. and they That's made some true. upsets gosh made i forgot about that and push yeah. and now they're dominating <laughs> and they're getting their backup back some mason carries. crew penny and on the handoff they got board. seven schools to get to <laughs> seven or six schools to get to for football and volleyball so and i know toby and i are planning to record a sports zone hopefully at the start of this upcoming week here to fill you in on what's going on as scrambling ahead for a big gain is Macy with the double Cruz. whammy on that one. So that'll back up the Warriors. Make it first and 15. Alta Villa takes the snap, looks to throw, has got a guy wow. caught and touchdown. That looked effortless from Alta Villa. He looks like a not to be mean here, because I mean this in a good way. He looks like a rock in the pocket. He's got a touchdown already tonight. And the extra point is good. And then the Warriors add remember, to this. Remember, heading into next game, if you're not careful. Well, Hunter, I remember right before we saw Two Rivers for the first time as this punt is grabbed by the Spartans. It's Justin Rungi who was able to fall on that one. Or I beg your pardon, Trey Lovelace. Before we saw Two Rivers for the first time, Toby and I were talking, wondering, is this team as good as their undefeated record shows? Is this team, you know, are these wins as legit as they would appear on paper? And we saw them about a week and a half ago, and Toby and I were like, Yep, this team is legit. They are as good as their record shows, and now getting to see them here again tonight against a good Simley team, they have put on quite the performance. Absolutely. I definitely think they do. This is a quarterback keeper, and ooh, big hit near the 22-yard line. But I think they are as good as they are on paper. Um, I might be biased in this comment. He's got the arm. He's just been off by a little bit sometimes tonight. So third and 15, backed up in their own end. Steven Urbina sends a man in motion, and he'll look to throw. Urbina has it intercepted. It's picked off, and the Warriors win the turnover battle here. It's another pick, and this time it's Keon Parker able to snag that one out of midair. And I might have jinxed him on that one. I told him, like I said, Two Rivers is a very good team, and if you miss by much, they'll pick you off every day. And I think he'll rebound nicely for the postseason, just not going his way. Well, and like you said, you can't let a bad throw, a bad interception, a bad quarter, a bad game let you get away from your game. You have to stick to what you know has worked in the past. It's not always going to work. Even the best teams have their moments, and the best players have their moments where they don't look like what we know they can look like. Simley has to know that we're better than what this game showed here tonight, and we got to find a way to rebound as the Warriors looking for more on the run. And, and the Moses Vasquez, who kind of held the line there at the very end to make sure that the Warriors weren't able to scramble ahead over that goal line. So nice defensive stand on that sequence for the Spartans. We'll see if they can do it again. Rushing up ahead and into the end zone, and it's a touchdown for the Warriors. Add another one onto the score sheet. It's Mason Krupenny, the senior who adds six more to the Warriors total here a tonight. fantastic question. <laughs> I know it's a loaded question, but. They just have great synergy in every mm -hmm. single aspect of the game. When they're running the ball, the O-line is dominating. I beg your pardon, they spoil the party, and the Warriors are gonna finish this season, Hunter, a perfect 8-0. Back-to-back victories over Simley in the final weeks of the season. They have a lot to feel good about. They. We were talking about it before the end of the half. They are just as good as that record indicates. They have beaten some good teams. They've blown out the bad teams. Not saying Simley's bad, but they've blown out teams they should blow out.